Good morning. Imagine that you have just woken up and in a couple of hours you have to be at work where you are expected to be productive and efficient and creative. Now there are some things that you can do between now and then to boost your brain power. There are things that you can do to maximize what your brain is capable of and that is what this video is going to be about. What are the morning rituals that you should do to boost your brain? I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior, I'm a neurologist and if you've not subscribed to this channel yet, do so. It means a lot to me and you'll see more such useful videos on your timeline. Now the first thing that you have to do after you wake up is to expose your eyes to light. Your brain has a special relationship with sunlight because there is an area in your brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus which is sort of the light detector in your brain. When light hits your eyes, it goes through the retina into the suprachiasmatic nucleus and that sends a signal to the rest of your body that hey good morning it is time to wake up let's release some cortisol let's become alert and active let's start the day this simple act of light exposure activates your brain elevates your mood and sets your body up to have a better day and as a bonus because of light exposure in the day it sets your circadian rhythm so at the end of the day when you go to sleep you will have better sleep because your clock is more aligned with your day so forget about looking at your phone the first thing get out of bed go towards the window or the balcony and just say hi to sunlight after this, it's time for ritual number two, which is movement. Movement is what gets dopamine in your brain spiking. And as you know, if you've been following my channel, dopamine is the neurochemical responsible for motivation and mood. Now you will feel more motivated and excited to go about your day if dopamine levels are high. So start moving as part of your morning ritual. Now you don't need to go to the gym for a one hour workout every morning. If you do that, it's great, but even five to 10 minutes of stretching, push-ups or skipping is enough to get dopamine spiking. It also releases a chemical called BDNF, which is brain-derived neurotropic factor. BDNF is like fertilizer for your brain cells. BDNF is like the cement with which your brain wall is built. So the more BDNF you have, all the ideas that you get in your brain will get stuck on top of each other better. So your memory and your creativity will be high and you want that at the start of the day. Ritual number three is breathing. Before you dive into your day's work, spend two to five minutes doing a breathing exercise called resonance frequency breathing. This is where you inhale for around four seconds through your nose and exhale slowly for around six seconds. Now, as you exhale, it helps if you are humming or chanting OM. Doing this activates the vagus nerve in your body, pushes your body into a parasympathetic state. It makes you calm, reduces your amygdala activation, reduces stress and gives your body a sense of quiet confidence that it can go about your day without getting stressed out. Now comes food because ritual four is brain fuel. Now, if you look at it by weight, the brain is only 2% of your body, but it consumes more than 20% of your body's energy, which means that all the thinking that you're doing takes up a lot of energy. In other words, your brain needs fuel. Now here, there is some room for personalization. Now there are some folks who eat every morning before going to work and that's great. And there are others who will follow a more intermittent fasting kind of style, which also works. But one thing that is non-optional is hydration. Make sure that you drink a whole glass of water before you head out to work because that is very important for your brain's proper functioning. Now, if you are eating breakfast, remember that a meal that is rich in simple carbs, that is a lot of sugar, will lead to a crash very soon. So you want to avoid that. Your breakfast should have more of proteins and complex fibers like starches. What this does is it gives you energy, it boosts up your brain, and it makes sure that the calories that you get from the food lasts for much longer in the day. Go for a breakfast that is full of eggs, nuts, fruits, or if you want something more Indian style, a paneer burji or fermented foods like dosa or idli. This will help keep the glucose levels in your body steady and your neurons need that. But if you're used to an intermittent fasting style of diet, that also works. Because the beautiful thing is your brain can get used to any style of diet that you train your brain to do. Now, a question that I often get asked is, what about coffee? Can we have coffee in the morning? Now, the important thing about coffee is 
you should not have coffee as soon as you wake up. Give yourself at least an hour after waking up before you have your first cup of coffee. Now, after that, it is actually a good thing to have coffee in the morning, but remember to not have it after 12.31 in the afternoon because coffee interferes with sleep and it takes your body more than eight hours to get rid of all the coffee from your body. So yes, coffee is great, but in the first half of the day, please. Now, and finally, ritual number five to improve your brain power and focus is intention setting. Now, this is not something that I used to advise people, but over the last one year, I have realized the importance of stating very clearly what is it that you want to do that day. The reason is that we are living in a world where distractions are around us all the time. So it's very easy to get caught in something short term if you don't have a preset plan of what you want to achieve. So simply saying that this is the task that I want to complete today. This is my most important priority for the day. This is what I want to do today. Some statement like that helps your brain align itself. Now, any distraction that comes in will get judged against what is it that I want to do? Is this helping me or is this coming in the way? Now, remember that your intention cannot be vague. It cannot be something like I want to be productive or I want to be happy. Have a very clear objective. Make sure that it is specific, it is measurable. And if you can, write it down so that there's no confusion. Believe me, any day that you set your intention clearly, that day will go better for you. Try it out and let me know in the comments if this works. So to recap, the five rituals that you should be following every day is light exposure, getting movement, breath work, brain fuel, which is both food and water, and finally, intention setting. Five rituals, 15 to 20 minutes, your brain will thank you if you make this a habit. If you found this useful, share this with your friends, especially those people who say that they are not a morning person or they don't know how to start the day well. And as a sixth ritual, Every day that you actually manage to do this, let me know in the comments. Just drop a thumbs up in the comments so that I know that you're following this and let me know how it goes. I hope this helps. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Take care.